do you find yourself needing readers as you get older? Might uh, impair your ability to focus on that front sight. It has mine. Today, we're going to do something about it. Well, as I got older, certainly I lost my um, ability to see close, like most people do as they get older. Um, so I found these little shooting glasses um, online. I don't know that you can see them too well, but they actually have readers in them, supposed to be able to help your vision see you know, that front sight a little better. But what I noticed is the readers are really small on the glasses. And when I have these on, and I try to focus at my front sight, I actually have to tip my head back to get that front sight really in focus, and then it sort of throws off my whole position. Um, so a friend of mine is an optometrist, and I asked him, hey, could you uh, make me tactical glasses with the readers that go up a little farther? And he said, absolutely, come on in. I do this for some other people too. So we're gonna go in and have an exam not actually exam a measurement. He said he could measure it right to the half millimeter of where my eye is going to be focusing on that front sight. So they'll still be able to see distance onto the target afterward from the top of the lens. I can't wait to see what he's going to do because although these readers and practical glasses are okay, they're really not the best for focusing on front sight. This talk is to do a line type of what we talked about that, right? Yeah. Versus a progressive. Oh yeah, just the line. I think progressive is you're going to be still doing this. And you want to be able right. to just, boom, move your eyes, move your head, bam, see the target. Right? Exactly. Without. Exactly. Okay. All right. So. And you're looking right here, correct? I'm looking through here and I'm focusing right you're, here. Gotcha. You're gotcha. I'm focusing, focusing right there. here. Okay. All right, perfect. So we're at 26 inches. Okay, you can put that down. What's the smallest row you can see? Oh. Comfortably. Comfortably, so something before the FLCT something else. Okay. Sorry, I meant to reach over like this. No problem. So it stays on there. Oh my gosh, is that awesome? Now look at the back. Wow. Can you still see the back of the gun well? Yes. And the front sight. I want to yes. make sure you have a range. Yes. Wow. Big difference? Huge. <laughs> awesome. All right. Oh, I should have done this a long time ago. All right, so this is too low, right? Right. Okay. So I've go ahead. Position. Okay. Okay. See, if for, in order for me to focus, I have to tip my head up, mm -hmm. but I want my head here. Okay. Stay right there. The technician marked up my glasses and sent them out to the lab to be made. It took about a week, and I finally got my glasses back. I had two pairs of glasses made, one clear and one sunglasses, and I can't wait to try these out. So let's see what happens. I really wished I had done that a lot sooner. These are awesome. Um, if you're somebody who needs prescription lenses or even just readers like I do, what a difference this little investment is going to make in helping you to focus on that front light a whole lot more clearly, which can help to improve your accuracy when shooting. Um, or even if you have prescription lenses and you don't like wearing the bulky over protective glasses, wonderful investment. You should consider it. Find an optometrist in your area who can do those for you. You should have done it sooner. I'm Kelly from Armed and Feminine. Hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment if you like. Check out our Facebook pages, Armed and Feminine or the Student Group. And remember, it's your life. Protect it. And mail them out to the lab to get made. I'm Kelly from Armed and Feminine. And remember, 